Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Grandia. If you remember on the last episode, oh by the way, this, I am Coder Wilson and this is Blue Aurora. Hello. On the last episode we got to the city with the gambling parlor and Alfonso stole a brute from Alfina and then tried to gamble it away. So we're going to go try to get it back now, I think. Yay. So let's go. Going. It's been a while since we, record, we recorded last, and the reason for that is because we have to work around a uh, Blue's inconsistent schedule at work. Uh, it's, yeah, I think go out to the boat. Boat. I'm not sure. But yeah, Blue's inconsistent work schedule, which is a little frustrating, but that's okay. And then it does take a little bit of, a fair bit of setting up and preparation to actually do these recordings. So for those of you that have been wondering, that's why it takes us so long to do these. This is your boat? Yeah, well it used to be, until I gambled it away. <laughs> it's like you knew. Well, you could say that. I lost all of my money playing against Bianca, so... Uh, why is that ship all chained up? That's Bianca's doing. Hmph. It's not like I'd just take off or something. <laughs> she must not trust you, I wonder why. She does not trust them, why should we? Exactly. Oh, door. look, a door. I don't know where it goes, but it's a door. It's a door! <laughs> we must attack the door by pressing X. Yep. Because X is used for everything, right? Yep. I guess a ship rocks back and forth, even when docked. <laughs> yes. It's soothing, isn't it? When I'm ashore on steady ground, it just doesn't feel right. Hmm. Uh. Hey, check it out. Oh, so you like that, do you? That's a tusk from a North Sea walrus. Really? What about that one? That, my young friend, is a piece of coral that can only be found in the South Seas. And next to it is a sacred chalice exhumed from the watery grave of a sunken temple. <laughs> well, I guess I was completely wrong about you, Alonzo. You really are a sailor. I'm sorry. No, he's still scum. What goes here? He's pretty sure. There? This does. Oh good, let's stab it with knives. Four times! This is where it really belongs. It's the map you showed us. Hey, part of the map is missing. That's right. It's unfinished. Can you guess why? Uh, mm -mm. I'll tell you. This map is one of a kind. It only shows the places that I've traveled to and seen with my own two eyes. It's my personal map. Wow. One of a kind. And until I've been everywhere, it'll remain incomplete. My greatest dream is to finish this map. No wonder he's single. But there's one small problem. Yeah. Without a ship to sail the world, it'll be impossible. Well, if you weren't a dumbass and get so, all your money away. If my map is never going to Language. be finished, I might Sorry. as well give up <laughs> my dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're breaking my heart. That's no excuse for tricking us. We wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for you. But that horrible woman is far worse. Were you watching her? Even a fool like you must have noticed. Yeah. You're darn right I saw what she did. No doubt about it. She was cheating. What? Then why did you... I have a plan to beat Bianca. But I'm gonna need a partner. A partner? This is what I have in mind. Uh, you idiot! I can't do that! Are you crazy? <laughs> you can if you want me to win. Uh. 
Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, whatever. Sleeping quarters are down below. Let's all get some shut eye. We'll need plenty of rest for tomorrow. <laughs> he definitely deserved that for what's coming up. I will just say that now. Real quick, talk to Alonzo. Oh, no, that's not, not talking that, to. That's a tusk. Yep. It's not named Alonzo. Nope. And now you can't hit circle? Yeah, yeah, circle. Circle! I forgot. Circle. Talk to Alonzo. <laughs> I think he gives you something that you can do like a practice game with that card game with, but uh, yeah, there we go. One medal. So let's go ahead and go look at that real quick, and we can uh, take a look. Like, go exit the boat. The door's over there, and we'll we'll take a look at how the game works, and we'll kind of explain that in this episode, and as well as maybe play a hand. Uh, actually, uh, can I take control? Yeah. Yay! I am now in control. This is the first time this LP that this has happened. <laughs> Woohoo! Running. Also, this guy likes. Uh, this guy is like a big Alonzo fan, but he's not very interesting other than that. If you had talked to him while Alonzo was in the party, he like freaks out and goes all ballistic and everything like that. It's pretty funny. Nice. Okay, so uh, I don't want to talk to you. If I sit here... You can buy medals. One medal is so nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and buy 20 medals, just so we have something to play with. Then we will, uh, let's look at the stuff that you can get for this. You can get a white sulfur, which is a consumable resource 40 MP. This cures a bunch of statuses. This is a damaging thing. This is a, like a Phoenix down from the Final Fantasy games with 100% health, health, so that's pretty good. Nice. But it's not really worth 48. This one uh, is not worth it. That's uh, like a held item, that's like a held item. And this is kind of nice for uh, Alfina, because if you give her this, then like you can, instead of taking your turn, you can use the staff, which will then heal an ally. Plus it has decent stats on it. But we're not going to take the time to get that far into the game. I will play a few hands for you guys just so you can see how it works and so you can see how it works. Blue. Okay. Hi, Blue. Hi. How's your day going? Good. So you can bet, I believe, up to 1,000 medals. Oh my gosh. We are not going to do that. I'll just do one medal at a time now so you can see how it works. Okay, so what it works is you've got nine cards here. The numbers 3 through 11. 2 does not count because that's a special number, and 12 does not count because that's a special number, and you cannot roll a 1 or lower on 2 dice, or a 13 or higher on 2 dice. So the way it works is you want to match up 3 in a row, 4 in a row, or 5 in a row. If you do that, you win a prize of some kind. Obviously, the more in a row that you match up, the better off the prize is going to be. Now, the number 7 is the most probable number to be rolled at any given time. So it's good to have seven here on the field as uh, at any time. Three and eleven, which are these two cards up here, are the least probable to be rolled at any time. But if you get roll if you get a three or an eleven in one of those chains of three or more, you get an extra prize. So what I like to do is I actually like to swap in the three and the eleven and for funsies, switch them up. <laughs> because that way, even though it's less likely to be rolled than a 4 or 10, you have a little bit extra chance of actually getting one of those, getting the extra bonus points or whatever. And then, uh, again, like, you can mix up the other cards if you want to, in whatever order you want. I like keeping 6, 7, and 8 together because those are the most likely to be rolled, so it's likely to get a 7, a 6, and then maybe an 8, or who knows, maybe an 11. 
And so that's how it works, is the basics of it. If you roll a 2, whatever score you get is doubled. And if you roll a 12, you instantly lose. Oh, 12 is bad then. Right. So then, but then it just becomes a matter of mash X forever. So there's an 8. There's a 4, which we took out, so that's no good. There's a 6. There's the 11, so now we either need a 7 or a 5. And we got a 7. Nice. So that, that went us 30 times. Now if we'd bet all 21 of our medals, we might actually have some medals. But, uh... Yeah, we can, uh... We'll bet 5 for now. And keep the, the card order the same. So now we would need a 3 in order to make that work, which is not very likely. But you never know! There's a 4. Okay, so there's nothing in a row here, so we, we got the we got the 9, we got the 6, and we got the 11, but those are not in a row, so it does not count. And we got a few rolls that didn't count anyway. There's a 10 which we took out, there's a 10 which we took out, there's a 7, there's a 6, and there is a 9. So again, we get a whole lot of nothing here. So what I like to do is, I like to come back near the end of the game and try to do this later on in the game once you've actually accumulated a little bit of, uh, of, of dough and then just buy a bunch of metals and then save the game, come back in here and try to win uh, a bunch of medals. Ooh, we're going to win something this time. Nice. But then on top of that, if we get a six, it's going to be a good time. 400 times medals if we get a six. Aww. We did not get a six. But we still get uh, four times our medal count. Nice. So yeah, you come back later in the game, you pour, like you're right here, not, not here. You pour a bunch of money into buying the metals first, and let's say, let's say you bought 200 metals, okay? Then you go save the game, come back in here, bet maybe 50 metals or whatever, like a quarter or a half of whatever you buy, or even if you buy 2,000 metals, then, um, then if you fail, all you do is reload your game, which is a little bit silly. Um, but every time you come back in, it resets all of the uh, cards and everything back to the defaults. Oh, nice. So that's how it works. We're gonna, we'll are gonna we do a few more. Just a few more, and then we'll call it good. This time, we will put the cards like this. There's an 8. There's a 4. Thank you, game. There's a 6, there's an 11, and there's the 7. So yeah. we got 3 in a row, that doubles our stuff. It only doubles it because we didn't get the extra bonus from having the 3 or the 11 in there. And it was only 3 in a row, so... And there is an instant loss. Double 6s is, is an instant lose. Jeez. Which is what happened in the storyline, and what Bianca is probably going to try to do to us again. Because she does that, you know? Ooh. She's not a very nice lady. Very much no. Mm. Looks like we're gonna get something here. But not a whole lot. So, one more game. Well, maybe two more games. <laughs> there's a 6, there's an 11, or a 10. So, there we failed. So there's a few times when you can roll and not get a card. The one, obviously there are two cards we took out. But also on top of that, if you roll the same number twice, you're not going to get uh, any bonus for that at all. So there's four in a row. That's actually going to be 15 times nice. how much. So we're actually doing decently well here, but we're going to go ahead and quit the game there because that's a good spot. So I will run us back and then we can see what happens from there. But now you guys have seen the game and you understand the game. Uh, we, we may do some of the game off screen when you guys are not here watching us and uh, may get some items. The items that you can get from the game change depending on how far you are throughout the game. So, and I will pass the controller back to you, Lou. Thanks. You are welcome. So welcome.
like a crocodile. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. No. No. Okay, so you can talk to them. I think there are sleeping quarters down below. You must be tired. Go below and sleep! Oh, you can talk to Alfina too, if you want. That's what I want to do. And then we'll go sleep. Okay. Because... Miranda, why did you suddenly hit Alf Alonzo like that? <laughs> Alfonso. <laughs> it was an involuntary reaction. I can only control my anger to a certain point. I enjoyed watching her hit him. <laughs> I know some women like that. I, I knew some women like that. But we don't need to talk about my exes. I I'm just saying. Alright. Here we go. Circle. There you go. So used to just mashing X, think circles feel strange. Stop playing Final Fantasy games. <laughs> they all all say press X. Save sphere. <laughs> I swear you have an addiction to save spheres. Just a little bit. It's it's a problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I can recover. Not that I needed you to. You didn't need to. No. Yay! Onward! Onward! On, on. Yes, X. <laughs> Let's go see what their epic plan was for Alfonso. Where is everybody? They must be at the casino! Uh-oh! I hope they didn't start without me! Wow, that just went from southern to southern redneck very quickly. <laughs> I hope they didn't stop without me, y'all. Sometimes that happens. Uh huh. There's a wall there. It's okay. You're doing a great job of walking backwards <laughs> towards the screen. Beauty Bianca's Casino. Here we go. Are you ready? No. <laughs> it's gonna be a major fight here. Oh yay! You, okay. you should you should have prepared all of your equipment. Oh. So I assume you're prepared to lose this game and win my hand, Alonzo. Hmm. I gave you all my word as a sailor. Here and now, I'm putting myself on the line at this gaming table. The stakes are high, and if I lose, then I promise to marry Bianca. Huh? What? Marry her? What? Huh? You've got to be kidding. Marry her? I won't go along with this. All right, all right. That's enough chattering. Roll the dice, Alonzo. I can't wait for our honeymoon. <laughs> She's a little crazy. Just a little bit. But who says that money can't buy love? So you notice here, Alonzo has decided to put the 3 and the 11 next to each other. Normally that would be a pretty bad plan. Alright, so... Yes, and when you roll doubles it multiplies whatever you win by 10. Oh cool! So... If he wins, he gets like a hundred times bonus, but you know, it's storyline, so it's kind of predetermined. Yeah. And they they have a little bit of role playing in this one. So there's a three. Just press press X faster. I'm reading. Okay, then read it. <laughs> so now he would need a five or an eleven. Eleven. Or he can suck. <laughs> now do your best, Alonzo, darling. After all, this is for our future, you know. <laughs> what? What do you think you're doing? Get your hands off my Alonzo, you little hussy! <laughs> <laughs> he got the 11. Yay! Alonzo wins! He did it! Alonzo won! Be quiet! 
It should have been a 12. Why isn't it? Why, hmm? Miserable cheater, you tricked me, Alonzo. <sighs> You knew the dice were going to turn up a 12, did you? Uh, it's rigged! The casino's rigged! <laughs> the game is over! You owe us about, um... Wow. I don't even know where to begin counting. <laughs> You've got a problem. How are you gonna pay for this? <laughs> I'll pay, I'll pay! Quit worrying! Look! And if that's not enough, I can offer you my beautiful rings. They won't come off. You make me sick. If you want something, then earn it. It's not that hard. If you're a cheater, you'll never be anything but a loser. I want to split my winnings with everyone. Forgive me. Oh, the nerve of that woman. Trying to win someone's love by cheating. Well, I hope she gets hers someday. I know how you feel. But don't be too hard on Bianca. I mean... She's only trying to get by. It's not easy for a woman to make it alone in a place like this. Had she and I met under different circumstances, then maybe... Huh? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Now, we set sail. Everybody meet at the pier when you're ready. Oh. Success! I have to say my favorite, favorite part of that cutscene is where Bianca freaks out and it plays the sound effect of an elephant. Yeah, I noticed that. That is my absolute favorite part of that cutscene right there. Okay, so now we're getting all the stuff back and getting some uh, equipment that we can also equip. So that's a thing. Now these bunny girls own the uh, casino, so that's good. Bunny girls. Bunny girls. Because let's be honest, who doesn't like a bunny girl? I mean, Fran from Final Fantasy XII. Hot! <laughs> Just saying. Actually, go back in that second tent. Second tent. There is a guy that sells some stuff there we may be interested in. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Thank you. I am in control. Hi! Uh... Burn Strike is kind of nice, but... Oops. <laughs> Buy skills! Okay, so counter is super cheap, so I'm going to buy a couple of those. I'll buy one of those and one of those. He's selling some super cheap stuff here, so let's set up skills now. We've got counter. Okay, so that'll work for you. I don't want that on you. And that'll work for you. Also, your phone is ringing. Oh, it is. Whoops. I'll call it back. Okay. Uh, actually, this guy has burn strike. How much is it? 168 gold. I'll buy one. <laughs> Okay, and we can set up magic. Who would you like to have burn strike on? How about him? Just because. Um. Okay. All right. So we're let's uh, let's call it there for now. Okay. So that will end off this episode. It's been kind of a nice episode. Yeah. How do you feel about this episode? I enjoyed the card game. You enjoyed the card game. That's excellent. 
For those of you that are watching the episode, leave a comment as to what your favorite part of the episode was, because the only thing we did was the card game. Uh, <laughs> but yes, for those of you that are watching, I appreciate that. Go ahead and hit the like button at the bottom if you've enjoyed this. It lets us know that you're enjoying watching these videos, and on top of that, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. That way you can see when more videos come out. So we will catch you guys on the next video. Bye! Bye! Okay.